This month's tip is parts do not have center lines, features have axes. You know, it's hard for me to believe that some companies continue to work to in-house standards that refer to the part center line. And I continue to see the datum feature symbol placed on center lines on a drawing. The standard allows this only if datum targets are used to indicate the datum feature. That was not the case for a company designing lens systems to be used in space. Here's a simplified redraw of one of their lens barrels. They applied a total runout to a critical diameter that would interface with a lens. This means that when checked with an indicator, the full indicator movement could not be greater than six ten thousandths when the part is rotated about datum axis A. The customer placed the datum feature symbol on the center line. The supplier used a convenient feature, such as the largest OD, to check the runout. Unfortunately, the customer held it the way it would assemble in the lens mount and the parts failed. The resulting lawsuit cost the customer nearly $8 million. The problem is that each cylindrical feature of a part has a different axis. Holding the part differently gives different results. Heck, if parts could be made perfect, there would be no need for tolerances on drawings. So we must make it clear on a drawing which features to use to establish a datum. This way, the drawing makes clear the design intent. This problem is easily avoided by following the standard. The datum feature symbol must identify a feature to use to establish a datum. Here, by associating the datum feature symbol with the size dimension, everyone knows what the drawing means. The supplier knows how the part will be inspected and has a better chance of making the parts right the first time. Or your company can live by that old adage that engineers don't make mistakes, they make revisions. This one could have been avoided. I'll see you next month.